Good morning, guys. So today I'm going to be making a espresso and a latte for you guys. Uh, it is Sunday morning. It's approximately 8.30 in the morning. Um, I'm just going to show you my normal routine of what I like to get my day started with. Um, I do have my almond milk. I have my espresso, my caramel, and then I have all of the attachments that goes with my coffee maker. It's the Mr. Coffee. I got it at Walmart. Um, it was about $40 or so. Um, this is my third time using it. It's really good. I love it. Um, and then I have my espresso shot and then also my latte mug. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is measure the water that you're going to be putting inside of the machine. I'm going to fill it up to the first line, number two, and I am using Aquafina water. Okay, so I have it here at the line two, and what I'm going to do is pour this water inside of the top of my machine. And if you have the same machine as me, it's going to indicate where you're supposed to fill the line up. So because I put two inside of the water, I'm going to also put two inside of here. So there is also lines inside to let you know how much espresso to put in. There's a number two and a number four. I'm going to put mines in at the number two line. I just want to make sure the top of that is very smooth before I pour it in. Espresso. Here's my second espresso. And I just press it down, guys. I just press it down. So what I'm going to do is now put this inside of the attachment. And I'm going to lock it onto the machine. So it is secure and it is locked onto the machine. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is put my my pot underneath just like this so now I'm going to start the machine by putting it on brew and you would just wait for it to brew so now I have my machine on brew and as you can hear it is definitely brewing and I cannot wait to have a shot of espresso look at that very nice. Now if I did this correctly, it should only produce the amount that I put in, which was two. So therefore this should be at two. And it is at two. So I'm going to pour some into my small espresso. Um, this is what I'm going to take a shot of, but I'm also going to make a latte. How cute is the espresso yourself? <laughs> so I do have my espresso in here. Now I'm going to move forward with doing my latte. So now I'm going to pour the rest of my espresso into my mug. And then what I'm going to do is Pour some caramel inside of this because I am going to make a caramel latte and I just want that caramel just to, you know, sit in there for a while until I'm actually ready to steam my milk. It's going to definitely make it sweeter. And I love a sweet latte, so that's done. I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to let the espresso soak up all of the caramel. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys how much milk I'm going to be pouring um, into my cup so that I can steam it. So I'm measuring it for you guys. So I poured in two, so it's on the line two. And there is a setting on my machine that says steam. And that's what we're gonna do. Make sure you measure the amount that you're gonna pour in for steaming. And I'm gonna put mine at two. Again, everything is at two. And I'm just gonna pour it inside again. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm going to go ahead and close the lid on here and I'm flipping it to steam. This is my almond milk here. You can hear the steamer on. you have your steamed milk so what I'm going to do is pour my steamed milk inside of my espresso and there we have a latte a beautiful latte at that and I'm gonna go ahead and stir my caramel and espresso in I do not add any sugar. Um, I just used caramel and that's enough for me. This is my little espresso shot that I'm gonna go ahead and drink. Wow, that is very strong. Very, very strong. That was good. And now I'm gonna just take a sip of my latte. Oh my goodness I love the way that warmness feels there you have it guys today we made an espresso shot and a caramel latte don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye